Good morning to all. Myself, Dr. Nitin Deepak, and I'm working as an associate professor in Amapali Group of Institutes, Halwani. Today, we are here to learn about event handling in JavaScript. Our objectives of this lecture is our introduction to JavaScript and events, JavaScript features, use of event handling, use of web page and JavaScript, interaction of JavaScript with users. So JavaScript is an object-oriented, portable, and lightweight scripting language. So JavaScript is an object-based uh, scripting language, which is used to make web pages dynamic. As HTML is an static language used to design a skeleton of a web page, but JavaScript is there to make it interactive and make it live. JavaScript was developed for the purpose of bringing web pages to life. Event handling is the way to implement dynamicity in JavaScript. As JavaScript can be executed only with the help of events, just like load event, just like mouse events, just like keyboard events, etc. So event handling is the best way, is the only way to implement dynamicity in JavaScript. Features of JavaScript, the first one is a scripting language created for browser client-side execution. So this scripting language called JavaScript is created for browsers for client-side execution. That means JavaScript is there to make a web page interactive and give a browser to life so that a web page can interact with anonymous users who use your websites. Libraries are mostly focused on online applications. Libraries in JavaScript are mainly focused on online applications, not offline. The second feature is interpreter-based. So JavaScript is an interpreter-based language, a scripting language. It is not a compiled language. That means read and execute it line by line by the browser. Compiler always execute a file after every error is eliminated from the code. But here, it is an interpreted language, so it will read and execute or debug or uh, interpret it each line by line and then convert to the machine language. The next feature is event handling. It is the most important feature as this is the only feature through which JavaScript can be executed. Events are actions or occurrences that happen in the browser such as mouse click or mouse over etc. So events are the actions or occurrences. That means uh, when web page is loaded, so there is a load event and if user clicks his or her mouse, then it's a click event. If users roll over his mouse, then it's a rollover event. If a user is uses keyboard, then it's a keyboard event. In keyboard event, there are some various events like key press or key up. The next feature is validating user's input. It can speed up the processes and check user input for mistakes or to help users for correct path. Validating feature is a very interactive feature through which user can be guided by an HTML page with its validations, whether he or she is going to the correct path or not. JavaScript is a platform independent. It's a very good feature. Because of this feature, we can embed it easily with an HTML page. It can be interpreted by various browsers. Because of independence platform, JavaScript can be interpreted by various browsers. As we know, there are many browsers in this market, just like Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, etc. So all the browsers can interpret it, the JavaScript language. Embedding is feasible. That's why uh, because of independence, embedding with HTML page is feasible as every browser has a plugin of JavaScript so that we can enable it in browser and use it as many as websites we can. What is event handling? So events are actions or occurrences that happen in the browser such as user clicking a button, moving the mouse, or pressing a key. User click a button and moving a mouse are the mouse events, and pressing a key is an event of keyboard or a mouse click. JavaScript allows to capture and respond to these events by attaching event listeners to HTML elements. So JavaScript can capture those events with the help of event listeners in JavaScript to HTML elements. So event listeners are, is the way to capture the events of JavaScript so that it can interact with 
users dynamically. Event handling is a crucial aspect of web development, enabling websites and web applications to respond dynamically to users' interactions. So event handling is the only aspect through which we can interact with users by our websites. Now we our websites have a life due to JavaScript so that they can itself interact with users without any developer or a programmer. JavaScript is the primary language used to add interactivity to web, web pages. Or I can say JavaScript is the only language through which we can make our web pages interactive. As in a picture, you can see there is a button called click me. If you click a button, that event generates and then it calls a JavaScript method and that method executes and uh, creates some changes in web pages as required by the developer. There is a tag, there is a code down to the event handling picture called a script tag which has a method of a method name called my event called alert welcome to JavaScript. In body, there is a button which is calling an event, uh, calling a method of JavaScript named my event. When you click this button, as shows in a picture, it execute a method in JavaScript and it says welcome to JavaScript. This is the way the event works. Here we are exemplify our event handling with the help of a mouse over event and a mouse out event. First is a mouse over event. The on mouse over is a keyword basically. The on mouse event occurs when the mouse pointer moves enters an element such as an image, a link or a button or we can say a text. This event is often used to trigger visual effects, provide additional information or change the appearance of an element when the user hovers over it. So this event always executes when a mouse hovers an HTML element like an image, a link or a button or a text. So this event is oftenly triggers on visual effects. This is oftenly used to trigger a visual effects or provide an additional information to the user by a hover information or change the appearance of an element. As you remember, if you place a mouse on file menu, it automatically executes an yellow code says file menu or edit menu that is called hover event. In this example, the handle mouse over function is called when the mouse pointer enters the paragraph element with the ID target. The function changes the text color to blue. So in this code, we can see a paragraph and body tag having ID called target and a mouse event called a mouse over and this is calling a function called handling handle mouse over method and there is a text written called hover me hover over me that means if you play if you uh, drag a mouse to the hover over me text it converts the text black text to the blue with the help of an on mouse over event calling a method called handle mouse over method and in that method there is written called document document means a white page of that is called body tag then get element by id that means this is a method to call an id which is called target here in our paragraph text and dot style means we are using css dot color means we are using to uh, the property called color to change the color from black to blue so if you hover a mouse on this text hover over me then this text will convert it to the blue color the next one is on mouse out event. That means when you hover a mouse on a text and you then again leave that text from there by dragging a mouse from there, that is called mouse out. The on mouse event, on mouse out event occurs when the mouse pointer moves out from an element. It's complementary to the mouse over event and is often used to revert changes made during the mouse over event or to trigger other effects. That means a mouse out event is actually complement to a mouse over event. If you mouse over to an element, it will convert to blue. And if you 
mouse out from the text move out the mouse out from the text then it can be uh, converted to the default uh, color or make any other changes let's modify the previous example to incorporate the mouse out event so in the previous example we are actually using mouse over event to make the color blue but now here in mouse out event we are changing again the color to the black if we mouse out our mouse pointer from that text in this version the handle mouse out method or a function is triggered when the mouse pointer leaves the paragraph element it changes the text color to black as default color in this one there is a method called uh, in this example you can see in a blue there is a method called handle mouse out event and an um, event called on mouse out is calling a handle mouse out method when you move a mouse from that text to the other area that is called mouse out event so this is called a mouse out event which is again a uh, back to the color called black so this is called mouse out event here with the example of these events you can place mouse click mouse over mouse uh, blur or some keyboard events so outcome of this lecture this lecture will strengthen you in understanding javascript and its features and that makes you comfortable to learn in in depth easily this lecture will also give you an insight of mouse over and mouse out events effectively now you can create your own interactive web pages with event handling easily so with the help of mouse over and mouse out event examples you can create your own examples for click event or keyboard events JavaScript event handling capabilities, especially with the events like mouse over or mouse out, allow developers to create interactive and engaging web experiences. By attaching event listeners to HTML elements, you can respond to user actions and create dynamic web pages and effects that enhances the usability and aesthetics of your web pages. Remember that modern web development often employs more advanced event handling techniques using event delegation and the add event listener method which provides greater flexibility and separation of concern in your code thank you so much